Okay, let's. Uh, I will. We will navigate a bit around my Genome Box website now. Mm. I mean, overall, it's pretty clean. It's like seems very clear. You enter the app market, so it's a new and free, popular. Uh, no categories yet. I think there are categories under the popular one that yeah. might be helpful. But so I mean, uh, obviously in the banner, they're like showcasing the most popular ones, the most interesting mm. ones. That's good with the big pictures, and then the small icons for each different kind of app with the uh, very cute, <laughs> <laughs> cute, very cute, cute illustrations. I like the Neanderthal <laughs> one. It's very brutal. Yeah. I mean, nice colors. <laughs> okay, so on the on, on the website of my genome box, smart DNA. You got DNA, we got answer. Okay, everyone's got DNA. <laughs> <laughs> How will you get it? That's the that's what I want to know. Found an innovative DNA app. I feel like like um, on the main page, I would wish to have like kind of bigger picture. No, it's kind of like it, it when I log into the page and I load the mm. first the first impression of the page is a little messy. Like, uh, yeah, what do they I want? Ha I see all these things at the same time. Like, I don't really get in immediately to the point. So maybe could clean up the f front page a bit. It says upload your DNA data, but I never uploaded it. I just got it from, like, I sent my spit yeah, and then they got it. I mean, that's not about the design. It doesn't no, but it's about <laughs> what they want you to do because it says yeah. do not have your DNA data. I, don't, I guess I don't know how to use it. And then it goes here, okay. I mean, it's illustrated the how to do it. <laughs> for kids. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's illustration for kids. Like yeah. Actually, like kid, <laughs> kids uh, study book or something. Uh, cute, uh, Maybe it could be more stylized to maybe. make it more, to feel more professional. How to use, no, it's this one, okay. But I mean, it's good to show these illustrations because then people need to read less because yeah. people don't want to read. They just want to see a picture and understand immediately what yeah, they need to but do. Yeah, but if they want to see a blue smurf do it or if they want to see a person, you know, that's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's maybe, a different yeah, thing. Yeah, maybe I would. Uh, uh, I guess this one part is important yeah. that the DNA is secure. But that seems like that's where they spent their mm. graphic design. Yeah. It's so yeah. tiny. Okay, that placement of the video we is completely off. Similar. <laughs> and too small. But different. Oh no, it disappeared. Now, Where is it? the new ah, world it was is upon go. us. You have to go Do back. Do you have ah. the key to get <laughs> there? Oh, oh no. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's a little glitch. Interesting mistake. Genome data is the key to the new world. There is nothing about how they get the data though. I figured that would be an interesting part. Hmm. I mean, it's good to good to show like what you can do because people are not familiar with this kind of technology that you can like send your... Uh, like that blacked out <laughs> yeah i mean obvi <laughs> it's obviously a new thing that you can send your dna yes. and then get uh, a lot of different data from that you know to health or to ancestry or even to smoking and drinking uh skin what else was there like your wine tasting ability i don't know it's very people new, don't know so about that this kind of things like can be discovered with this this yeah. thing but um, i feel like this one keeps it keeps too much unknown, like it doesn't explain at all like the science behind it or anything, which also, at least mm -hmm. I would like to know before I send my and DNA. To convince people to want to do this, you should like show what kind of benefits this can give to you, like mm. more more mm. focus on the what kind of benefits mm. knowing that the, knowing the DNA, what kind of benefits it can like really mm. give to you if it can change your life in a positive way. Mm. That's if people get understand that, then that's when they would want to do this. Lo not very marginal amount of people would just want to do it out of curiosity of. Yeah, especially well, if I'm if it so. inquire, uh, if it requires so much work. Yeah. I think I all the information is here on the website, but it's a little bit messy. Sure, the English uh, is a little off, like do not have your DNA data. Yeah, it should be like a uh, broken English. Yeah, <laughs> it should just be do you not have or something else or like don't you well, don't have. You, don't you don't yeah. have it yet. Yeah. I mean, everybody had. Oh, yeah, it's slightly off. I guess for native speakers, that would be a little disturbing. Yeah. But I think this is important for people that DNA data is secure. Mm. Because some people can be really sensitive about it, yeah, so it's certainly. not it's not bad to emphasize it that it's really it's not gonna be sold anywhere. This, how do the different apps? Why don't you just get everything in one? You know, I mean, obviously you can't because they all look for slightly different genes, but 
that might be more interesting to see how it ex uh, how it actually works. Okay, this. here, yeah, here is more. Um, what's that like? Um, more images or more illustrations than on the other other mm. ones, and it's. So it's broken down into bars and graphs, which yeah. makes it a bit easier to read. Um, but a little, little bit old old style, like n nowadays everything is more minimal. Yeah. <laughs> we don't like any textures mm. and like we don't like unnecessary decorations. <laughs> but yeah. uh, There's a lot of decoration <laughs> and, and, and graphic elements here, but at least they've taken like the most important information and, and, and blown mm. it up into charts and graphs. So it's easier to read than some of the other ones. And, and I mean, using different colors for different se sectors is cool yeah, because that's that. e yeah, but it's it's more fun because it's more illustrated. So you need to read less text. So that's fun. You can just scroll down. Mm. Kind of this world map is a little off, though. It says West Europe is Greenland, but wait, where? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah. But I guess yeah, it's where the bubbles It should fit. be really stressed. To I feel that was an unnecessary yeah, sacrifice. Yeah, that's a little bad. Why West Europe is there? <laughs> the chromosome. East Europe here. is in North Europe. Yeah. North Europe is so this one. I feel like this part of the uh, this part of the of the graph sh could have used some more uh, text to explain what what am I looking at. Uh, so even though the map is nice and the color coding is nice, it's uh, it lacks a little more info to yeah. tell me what I'm looking at. Yeah, here I see numbers, but I don't exactly know what it is. So and then, somehow that's um, like maybe. Uh, or that what does mean the single population sharing like right. like, like even if it would be a little interactive like orcadian okay if i clicked it it would open a little bubble that would explain to me what is orcadian, what is orcadian. just very shortly we are both primarily orcadian but yeah, none I'm, of us I, now know i never heard that word because before. Oh. so i think i think they're trying to you know extract the most in important information and present it in a nice and readable way i don't think they necessarily succeed everywhere i think the, especially the chromosome view and uh, and the single population sharing it has a very weird mix of simplification and then suddenly a wall of information even though it's like on top of a nice map uh, i think the map doesn't add anything and i mean the other the other reports from the other apps they just look like you know science reports or something like that mm. which is just text and, and and a few graphs or something yes yeah, so the nice thing is that here is a more illustrated yeah. more illustrated so it's easier to grasp yeah. immediately and on the, even but though not in every part and even i understand these are you know generated so you have to kind of program around that but i still think it would be possible to make it make it you know more attractive but also mm. easier to navigate because in the other apps it was also like ridiculously hard to see which information is the most important one mm. and they're all the, there is no hierarchy in the text necessarily the some is bold and some is not some is gray some is black but they seem to all mix like what what are they all about and i like that they sometimes just have like a single line saying mm. your result is low or your result is high or something and then you know when that's just colored text on white background and everything else is also just text on white background. I feel like they don't get as much out of it as they could, but on this one it's like almost too much.